uh, Splunk Basics channel. Today we are going to discuss about the Splunk Incident Review. I'm going to take you a little walk to show you the Splunk Incident Review, how we monitor and how the events and how to investigate on those events. This is very important for the Splunk analyst while he monitor in he in the real time okay, in the SOC environment. Okay, let's see. Now you are seeing the correlation searches. I'm going to change it to instant review. Okay, before starting this video, I'm going to tell you one thing. The incident review, the events, you see those are generated through correlation searches. If you don't know about the correlation searches, please uh, check it out my video how to create a correlation searches that is very important topic to know how these to get to know how these events are generated in the incident review in Splunk environment okay if you see here these are the these are the generator critical high medium low these are the events that are generated in our SOC in our SOC data that day that is the data we monitor in real time in Splunk that is what a Splunk analyst or a senator security analyst guy do and now you're gonna investigate on the threat activity detector hmm okay here the first thing you need to see check go check this IP address and next thing the source check the source and asset investigator click on the asset investigator and investigate that asset and also I'm gonna recommend clicking on the domain dozier and this page it takes to that where is that thread coming from you can see country address where it is located this is the way you can investigate and this is an this is asset investigator this is also this is also the best place to check the event or event is critical or not to your environment like you can click on the ids attack you see here no no results actually while you're working in a real time you see more data the trillions and billions of data in your environment but here this is my personal pc and um, i don't have much data that is why i don't find any critical events and and one more thing i want to show you guys the malware center this is very important for a SOC analyst who's working on a especially on a malware and especially on a instant review on Splunk and this is the place where he must and should monitor every 10-15 minutes he never knows and th this is the this dashboard shows you the malware from the last 30 days in my currently in my environment I see the malwares like a ransomware Trojan, Threat Activities, and uh, WannaCry, Pentia, all these different kind of malware. These are very harmful to our environment. And here in the top infection, this, it's going to show you that. It's going to show you the top infections. This dashboard is very helpful for if you have any stand-up meeting every day with your client. And this dashboard is very helpful. To just put in front of them and this one and new infections and multiple infections these are for your knowledge so when you open this tab you can directly take a look at this oh okay oh yeah I saw here red one oh and I need to investigate again like that and then let's go back to instant review While investigating, you must and should you need to close these 
events while you moving to another event if you, if you find this threat activity is you didn't find any harmful in this threat activity and just select it and click on edit selector and check the status resolved or closed urgency make it low or an administrator and put a comment and other analysts can understand why you close this no threat found or no suspicious activities you can write whatever you want and you can see my name over here administrator yeah this is the way you can monitor the real-time data and uh, uh, there are only two things are important this is the monitoring and the malware center every time you need to check malware center and these events to keep your environment safe okay guys thanks for checking out and thanks for visiting my channel i really appreciate it